Hey guys, it's Devin, and today I will be doing my June wrap-up and my July TBR. And if you can't tell, I also redid my bookshelf because I managed to pick up a ton of books on my vacation last week. Uh, I will be doing a book haul as soon as I'm done filming this video, actually, so I'm going to be looking quite similar again. It's going to be a two-video kind of day. But, yeah, I just rearranged it all by author. I don't know if I'm going to do a full bookshelf tour because I just did one a little while ago before I rearranged it. I don't know though. Let me know what you think in the comments. So June was a pretty successful reading month for me. I managed to finish three books in that time span pretty much in like a week and a half because I had exams in June so I didn't really have a lot of time. So I'm just going to go through what the books were that I managed to read. The first book that I managed to finish was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. I adored this book so much. It was so just incredible and I thought it was the best of the Harry Potter series so far. I really thoroughly enjoyed this book. Out of five stars, I would give it a five because I just, I loved it so much more than all the other books. This is probably one of my favorite books in the series. I absolutely adored it. The next book I finished was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I read this as soon as I was done Harry Potter. Like, I put Harry Potter down and basically picked this right up. So I wasn't really entirely dedicated to it because I was still thinking, oh, what about Deathly Hallows? I should pick that up. Once I got into this book, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I actually could not put it down. It's one of the best contemporary novels I've read in a while. It just, it's so adorable and it, it kept me reading and there weren't really any parts that I found boring. Like it started off a bit slow, but then it really, really picked up for me. And out of five, I would give this a four and a half just because I really adored this, but it kind of started a bit slow for me until maybe like 40 or 50 pages into the book. Finally, the last book I managed to finish in June was Favorite Towns by John Green, and this is on my Kobo because I don't have a physical copy of it. Technically, I finished this book on July 1st, but I only had like 10 pages left when it hit July 1st, but I was just so tired on June 30th, I could not even keep my eyes open anymore. Uh, this book, I would probably give maybe a four, because I really loved the beginning when Quentin went on Margot's little journey, and then when he was figuring out the clues and what was going on, but then it just got really slow for me in a lot of parts. Once I started the road trip though, that really was when it picked up again for me, and I really liked it. So those are the books that I managed to finish in June, and now I'm going to be moving on to my July TBR. July is going to be a big reading month for me because I have so much time just to read any book that I really want. It's just going to be like a reading month for me. I'm so excited and pumped. So the first book that I'm planning to finish in July is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. It should have been fairly obvious um, because I just finished Half-Life Prince. I actually am almost done this book. I have just over 40 pages left and I started this last couple days of June but I have just been powering through it the past couple days. I really, really am enjoying this book so far but there's going to be more about how I'm actually, like, how I actually felt about it in my July wrap-up. The next book that I am hoping to read in July is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I have finished the first three Mortal Instruments books and I absolutely adored them. And I actually heard that it's better to read the books in publishing order so that you don't really spoil anything for yourself. So I'm hoping to pick this one up because it was published just after City of Glass. And I'm so excited to pick this up. Everyone is gushing how much they love this trilogy and how much Will Handel is amazing. And I'm just super pumped to read this. The next book that I am hoping to start and finish in July is City of Fallen Angels, also by Cassandra Clare, which is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. I managed to pick this up in June. I'm really intrigued to see the whole dynamic of everybody's newfound relationships after City of Glass. Uh, it's just super exciting for me because I really, really want to know what happens next, but I want to read Clockwork Angel first. The final book that I'm hoping to pick up in July, if I manage to finish those other three books, is 
the Dove by Cody Keplinger. I just watched the movie and I absolutely adored it. I think it's just so much like Mean Girls with the kind of like that kind of same vibe where it's the girl power and the high school film and it's just it's it was so good and I really want to see how the book differs from it because it you know it's obviously based off the book so I want to see how the movie compares to the book. So that is it for my June wrap up and my July TBR. I hope you guys loved this video. I will be filming a video right after this. It's going to be my June book haul so make sure you check that out. I will be looking the exact same so don't question I don't just wear the same outfits every day. I'm just filming two videos in one day. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. For both of those I'm at the Shelfie, which will be somewhere on this screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you comment below telling me what you read in June and what you are hoping to read in July. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am going to be posting videos more frequently now that it is the summer months. And that is all for me and my Shelfie.